Hey guys, my name's Naima and this is an honest Christian Q&A. Before I even say anything about Christianity, just know that I respect you and whatever you do believe or don't believe. I'm making this video to kind of destroy Christian stereotypes. Also, being a Christian is a huge part of my life and my channel is a place of self-expression. It's a place where I can showcase my personality, my beliefs, and so if I'm not talking about how I'm a Christian, I'm just not giving you guys the whole picture. That's not what we want. Okay guys, let's do it. Do your friends know you're Christian? I think for the most part, people get the vibe because I don't really swear and dress pretty modestly, if I do say so myself. All these things I think add up and if people pay attention enough, they'll know. And if they ask me, I'll tell them it's not like a secret. How do you know that God's real and how do you know that the Bible is true? I'm taking biology this year. Everything happens so perfectly in science. It's not a matter of science versus faith. They go together. Earth is the right amount of distance from the sun and then it just, it can't happen that perfectly. I'm not trying to attack anyone here, but just stay with me, okay? If you don't believe in God and you believe in science and you think matter cannot be created nor destroyed, which is the first law of thermodynamics, then that goes against that the world could have just happened. Therefore there, ha would, the, the, <laughs> therefore, there would have to be a creator to create the matter, then the matter cannot be created nor destroyed. Oh, I really went off there. I'm sorry if that sounded, like, aggressive, but... How does being a Christian affect your relationships? <laughs> well, it's hard to find true friends. Well, I go to a public school and a lot of people there are not Christian. One of the key things in having a friendship is like having a lot of similarities. And I think if you guys don't have similar end goals, then that friendship won't really work out. I'm hot. I'm, I'm getting nervous, you know, like it's, this is real. Okay. How do you share your faith with your friends? Being a Christian, I feel all the peace and the joy and all the things that comes with being a Christian. I want the people that I love to experience that. It's really important not to try to push a religion on anyone and just kind of be an example of like what you stand for. And maybe they'll get curious like, oh, she holds herself with such dignity and grace and like she's always positive, like what is that? What's your biggest regret as a Christian? It's things where like I don't really show that I'm a Christian through my actions, which is not like every single day, but events do happen and then I go home and I'm like, ugh, you know? <laughs> Is it difficult being a Christian in a public school? Um, yes. It's just like a joke to a lot of people. There are so many people, like so many of my friends are so chill about like whatever you believe, you believe and they do their own thing and it's just like it works out. So I think I sounded really dramatic when I was talking, but what's your favorite Christian artist? So NF is so good. He doesn't really say that he's a Christian artist, but I still always listen to him. Kanye is great though too, you know, you just can't go wrong. Does being a Christian restrict how you live? A lot of people's idea of Christianity is that there's so many rules and like why would you do that? My view on this is that all these rules are set into place in your benefit. I'm just gonna use the example of waiting till marriage. No STDs if you wait till marriage. Ooh, are we gonna do abortion? Are we not? Like there's no debate. I know it's hard like to stay on that path the Bible talks about, but if you don't stay on that path, just think about all the chaos. I don't know why people just think it's so weird. Just think about it for a second and it's like, whoa. Following what the Bible says actually gives you so much peace and so much freedom. Like, it's just so beautiful and I can't explain it. What's your view on abortion as a Christian? I'm pro-life, okay? So I see on social media, woman's body, woman's choice, and I totally agree with that. I also saw another thing, and it was like, woman's, wait, what was it? No, okay. Woman's body, woman's choice. Baby's body, not woman's choice. I understand like some people may have gotten raped, and 
that's a subject that I don't really know a lot about so I can't really speak on that at the same time it's like if you're a Muslim and then you force me being a Christian to cover my hair and cover my whole body even though I don't have those beliefs and I don't think that's right we have the freedom of press and religion and speech I feel that I need to stand up for like what I believe in about abortion but I think it's really really unfair that if you don't have the same beliefs as me that I'm forcing you to do something or to not do something with your body what are your opinions on high school dating I think you date for marriage why would you date if it's not for marriage for fun I get that you can have fun with a guy friend and not like kiss or do other stuff when you're in a relationship and that's your source of contentment and that's the only reason you wake up in the morning like what happens when they go away what happens if that ends how do you make time for god in such a busy world for me i have my quiet time in the morning usually and at night life is always going to be busy it's never just going to be calm and peaceful so no matter what you just gotta do it, you gotta spend time with God. How do you deal with temptation? I think if we stay in God's word, we'll know what the good from the bad and like what is deceiving us and what is the truth. And also, you need to know yourself enough like not to put yourself in the situations where you know you can't handle. What do you think about swearing? I don't swear, I was watching Annie Long's video, it's like the same video as this, and she said that swearing to her is like, dirt coming out of her mouth and I totally agree with that when you swear I think now this is my opinion I know a lot of people swear so like I'm not coming for you but when I swear it's like when I'm trying to imitate someone or like when I'm explaining a story you know <laughs> how has being a Christian changed your life I have so much more peace and love and patience in my heart I just kind of float around my day I always have in the back of my head that everything's gonna be fine and that it's in God's hands and that doesn't mean that you're not gonna try in school and that you're gonna walk in the middle of the street without any awareness i'm not saying it like in that way but i just know like god has a plan and so i really have a lot of peace with that and that just really gets me through life so if you watch this far into the video that's just crazy that's it and i'm really hot and tired so i'm gonna go I comment anything you want subscribe if you want and that's it i love you bye <laughs>